everyone, it's Natalie here and today I am coming to you guys with a video on how to save slash make money when you are in college. Now is about the time of year when I'm kind of looking at my bank account and I'm like, hmm, um, what? Like, how do I have no money? Where did my money go? And how the heck am I going to actually make money? Because I'm not just going to stop my living and like never have to pay for a single thing again. Like, college is so hard to save money because like you're a full-time student and I feel like a lot of people don't have jobs in college because they want to focus on their studies. Anyways, I just know that the college struggle. I am a college student, a junior in college. If you guys don't know, hi. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe. I post videos every Tuesday and Friday and I just kind of want to get into the video and tell you guys how to save money. The first way to save money is actually an app that I found. It's called Ibotta and I want to first give them a shout out and say thank you for partnering with me on this video. I don't like to hide my sponsored videos and I don't do a lot of them but I absolutely love this app and I have saved actually a lot of money on it. So I will leave the link down below but I just didn't want it to be a secret that I am partnering with them on this video. How the app works is that you go to all of your most common stores, CVS, Target, um, Charlotte Bruce is on there. There's a lot of retail stores on there. Aldo, which I know like I buy like a ton of shoes from there. So you go to all your most common stores. Honestly, just live your life, buy your stuff, and then you get money back. There's a ton of different products that Ibotta has. And then every time you buy that product, you just scan your receipt and you scan the item and you get like a dollar back, 50 cents back, $5 back. It just depends on how much it was. So it's basically a reverse coupon is the way I view it. So you buy something, but then you get some money back. So I've saved a ton of money. I actually just went to CVS today and I got some stuff and I'm about to scan Ibotta and get my money back because I think that is so freaking smart and it goes straight to your bank account. It's not one of those things where it's like, if you scan five things, you'll get a $25 Starbucks gift card. Yeah, those are nice, but it's actually just straight up cash into your bank account. So there's no strings or anything. And actually the very first time that you use Ibotta, you get $10. Like that's literally just walking down the street finding $10, picking it up and putting it in your pocket. If you guys are college students, high school students, anyone, like literally download this app, use it once and get 10 bucks, just like that. Last week, do you know how much money I had in my checking account? Take a guess, just pick a wild guess. 25 cents. I didn't even have a dollar. I had 25 cents to my name. What's also awesome about this app though is that it's integrated with other ones so like you can use Groupon with it and get money back from even Groupon which Groupon already saves you money but then you can get money back even from using Groupon. So it's like really cool. It's integrated with a bunch of other apps. You can use it on just your basic stores. Still are spending your normal money, but you're making money too. I mean, I just like can't stress how much I love it enough. Not because I sponsored with them. I promise you, like you literally, any one of you guys can get $10. The number two way to save money is by student discounts. These are very obvious. I feel like everyone knows about student discounts, but I'm trying to make you guys have a more practical ways to save money. I really, really, really hate life hacks that are like, if you like, sniff an orange and drink two water bottles in an hour, you might get better grades and you also will, I don't know, just like all, all these weird things are like, if you tape something to your finger, that'll do some, I don't know, just like weird life hacks. Like I'm not really into those because literally no one's gonna use them. It's just like to make student discounts. There are a list of places that have student discounts. Literally ask anywhere you go. Movie theaters near college campuses normally have student discounts on a certain day. Um, restaurants, almost like, all fast food places have student discounts that you don't know about and it's just like a free drink but like come on who doesn't want a free drink so like i know chipotle does it kidoba does it um mcdonald's has student discounts burger king waffle house um chick-fil-a like all of these places have student discounts banana republic j crew a ton of stores like they made well i'm pretty sure make sure that you guys ask everywhere you go the grocery store near me it's called harris teeter if you're a student you get 10 percent off every single purchase so that it's an automatic 10 percent off you don't need to keep showing them your student id you register your account like your zip your reward card and you automatically get 10 percent off every single time number three is discounted textbooks which i feel like everyone knows about everyone talks about never buy your textbooks full price you should never buy your textbooks full price um it's the biggest waste of money ever there's so many accounts like chegg uh i think it's called like tech e textbook there's so many different websites i'll have a couple of them linked down below for you guys that you can buy discounted textbooks amazon prime free for students um you can get textbooks on there too I highly recommend re renting them because most classes you will not need 
the textbook again and you're just gonna have it sitting there but if you do buy it you can actually resell it so resell it on Amazon resell it on Chegg like resell it on all of these different websites most universities have a drop-off where you can resell it actually at your university but you don't make as much money there but you can resell them so yeah just resell your textbooks because what are you gonna do with a random like calculus textbook from two years ago like, number four is another website that I found it's called lazo.com I actually use this when I go grocery shopping so if you type in your grocery list or just type in everything that you are planning on buying it will give you coupons for it just for like anywhere so I actually use that a lot grocery shopping I just put like milk eggs bread whatever typical grocery store things and then I'll put whatever else I'm buying and you might get like a dollar here and there uh, two dollars off I'm telling you guys that might not seem like a lot but in college every single dollar counts every single 50 cents counts every single 25 cents counts if you're me so that is an awesome website I thought it was so cool I had no idea about it before someone told me but yeah you just get it literally scans everything and just gives you coupons like why would you guys not do that I just don't understand like all these things why would someone choose not to do it number five is something that I did last year and I actually made over 50 bucks doing this and it was only a one-day thing um, there was an email sent out to us about experiments and someone needed a volunteer to help with a like stimu uh, like a simulation driving experiment you just had to go to a lab for like two hours I literally sat there and played like one of those video games where you're driving a car and I got paid over 50 bucks just because students and like grad students they need people with for their research or they need people for their experiments or their studies that they're doing and so I did that for uh, it was like $20 an hour, $25 an hour they paid me just to do that. So, and I just signed up right away. I was like, I'll do it. No one knows about that, but if you just look up like research experiments at whatever university you are and sign up as a volunteer, you will make so much money. They actually pay really, really well and it's literally the easiest thing ever. You're just sitting there doing what they tell you to do. It's never really dangerous or anything like that. Like I was literally driving a video game car. So yeah, highly recommend doing that. Number six is also something that I do and it is ways to save banking. So if you you guys are with Wells Fargo which I know I am or Bank of America probably does something like this bb and I don't know all the little like banks probably do stuff like this too but what I do is I have a ways to save banking account so basically every single time I make a purchase on my checking account one dollar goes to my savings account so like every single purchase transfers a dollar to my savings account you will save so much money by the end of the year it's actually kind of crazy I think I've saved like 200 something dollars just by any little purchase like it will transfer a dollar which to you, it doesn't seem like a lot, but like in the end, it will. And it's just nice to know that every time you're actually spending money, like at least you're saving some. It's kind of like having a jar full of extra change or cash. But if you're like me, you literally never carry cash with you. I never have cash on me ever. So like a, doll, like a jar for me, like wouldn't do anything because I would never put anything in there. So that's awesome. So talk to your bank. Um, again, like not sponsored by my bank. <laughs> but yeah, talk to your bank and do the ways to save. It's for college students, but I'm pretty sure like anyone can do it and it's such a great way to save i've been doing it for years and i've saved so much money number seven is a way to save money and make money and it is to either become a tutor or you can save money by getting tutored so becoming a tutor i'm pretty sure every single school has a tutorial center um they work with your schedule because they know obviously you're a student and you're a student that makes good grades that you care about your grades because that's why you're a tutor so if you do that they actually pay really well i know a couple people that do it i think you just have to take like an orientation and a class and then you can become a tutor super easy um if you're good at a subject obviously don't do it for something that you're not good at but if you're really good at a subject and want to make extra money become a tutor they work with your schedule it's literally at your school they need tutors like i always get emails like anyone interested in becoming a tutor so seriously do that and a way to save money is instead of getting a professional tutor which i actually did one year without knowing about my tutorial center at school um i actually like paid money for one but instead of doing that there's so many like resources at your school you do not need to spend money on a tutor go to the tutorial center get tutored and get that a yeah number eight is another way to save money and of course this is another like practical maybe obvious one but do not waste your money on a doctor um that sounds kind of weird but i know again freshman year i would go to like the minute clinic or i'd go to actually a doctor's office whenever i was sick and then i realized wait literally like there is student health at my school that is a legit doctor's office so don't waste your money on going to your doctor at home anymore go to the one at school um i'm pretty sure insurance is covered in your tuition if you don't have insurance or i'm not sure about the logistics of that but yeah it's free so definitely go there instead number nine is free gym classes so this is another way to save money and again this is not a crazy life hack like things that you've never thought of in your life no this is practical like hey reminding you 
save your money. Instead of paying $8 for a walk-in yoga class down the street, why don't you just go to your gym? They literally have so many options for classes. I know ours has yoga, we have like studio, or we have um, we have like dance, dance classes, we have cycling, we have running, like literally we have everything. Don't spend money on a gym and now you don't have any reason not to work out because yeah, life hack, work out. It's free. <laughs> and then the 10th way to save money, this one is also another obvious one, but it is to get either like a job on campus or something that you can do. Oh my gosh, there's so much noise outside. Uh, my window is not open and you can probably hear everything. It is so annoying. So just get a job on campus. Um, I know for us, we have actually a career portal so you can look up jobs on campus all online and you can look up actually jobs around the area from you all online that are hiring NC State students or for me, it's NC State because I go to NC State hiring students at your school. So definitely be sure to do that. And again, if you they know that you are a student, they are recruiting students. They know you have classes. It is so flexible or you can do babysitting. I know for me, I did babysitting freshman year. It was such an easy way to make money and they of course know you're a student they go by your schedule too or hello start a blog start a youtube i highly encourage everyone that has any sort of interest like slim interest in doing it to do it you do make money but honestly it's like the most fun thing ever and you're not gonna make money in the beginning so it might take you a while but it is so much fun um yeah i have videos on like how to start a youtube channel and stuff like that but i think that this is like i'm I don't know where I would be without YouTube and like it's a perk that it makes me money but yeah I seriously love it so much like this the reason I don't want to do anything else is because I want to focus all my time on YouTube like yeah I could have a job but like I don't want to because I know I wouldn't be able to focus all my time on YouTube like you guys I post twice a week that's a lot for being a college student I mean I like really really focus on you guys I really hope that you guys like this if you guys want any other college videos or any other videos let me know in the comments below I really like this to be an active comment section as always I will try to respond to every single one I'm pretty good at responding to comments but yeah comment please <laughs> like this video, give us a thumbs up, follow me on social media, and subscribe. Yeah, that's it. See you guys later. Bye.